On this episode of On the Road, Rock, Steve, Craig, and friends are in New Mexico during elk rut, and some huge bulls are hitting the ground. This is one of our favorite places on Earth, and it won't take long to see why. On the Road starts now. Good chance where they're not going to show up till like 10. They just make me early because I'm usually late. And all I know is we're meeting here, we're flying here, we're going killing elk. Fly day, going elk hunting. Well, we got a mixture of a lot of things. We've got some boat shoes with some red, white, and blue stars and striped socks. Come up with some uh, shorts for the beach, camo hat. Sweatshirt just in case it gets cold. T-shirt. Waiting on rock. Been here for since eight. Wheels up at 8:30. It's now 9:30. There he is. Finally showing up. I might have been a few minutes late, but now I'm ready to head to the Quinlan Ranch in New Mexico. What is that? That's your clothes for the hunting trip. What? I even got T-shirts. Yeah. Now while we wait, we haven't even left the ground. The wheels aren't even up. Rock is already talking about the next hunt. Go, go Ohio and run Ohio this weekend. The Quinlan Ranch is located in Chama, New Mexico, and is one of the finest hunting destinations in the West. The Quinlan sits astride the historic migration route of the entire southern Colorado San Juan elk herd making this perhaps the most extraordinary elk habitat in the Southwest. We made it. Where, I don't know where we are. I think we're in uh, Colorado. Where are we at? Where are we, are we in? They say, if you're gonna go kill one, this is the place to do it. So, just ready to go, make it happen. Quinlan Ranch is one of the best places in the world for elk hunting. Tons of elk, tons of fun, five-star accommodations. Enjoyed the beautiful views coming in. You know what? I don't even care if I kill an elk this trip. Oh, no. I just, I'm just glad to be out there. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but New Mexico and the Quinlan Ranch, there's something about it that just gives me a sense of peace, happiness, and joy. So this is my first trip to the Quinlan Ranch. I've heard a lot about it, but this is the first time Steve-O's been there. Three thumbs up for this place. After getting everything unpacked, I took out the expedition bow just to make sure it was still on. She's on. See, this is a super freak. This is what I'm shooting? Yeah, okay. you want to use the bigger one. I want you to use the extreme. You know why? Because I'm extreme. Because I like you that way. It has a wider diameter cut mm -hmm. than the Super Freak. So it's a little more forgiving. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm all about forgiveness. But you see, look. Look at the width. 
That's pretty. It takes off. It takes off like that, and then as soon as it hits, it opens up. It, yeah, that O ring slides down and opens up. Two and three quarter diameter cut. That's a deadly. <clears throat> if that doesn't cut them and doesn't kill them, then nothing will. You just didn't shoot them in the right spot. First afternoon hunt. I really wasn't expecting too much, but I was pumped to be out there. We're out in the water hole tonight, and um, wind's good, wind's party, wind's blowing right in our faces. So hopefully one comes up above and I'll get a shot on him. out walks this beautiful, huge Quinlan Ranch bull. Stay tuned, you'll never guess what happens next. walking straight to the watering hole where yours truly is sitting. Got a chance to elk hunt. First evening, first sit, first hunt of the trip, bam, smokes a big old New Mexico giant. Good job, little bro. Breaker, breaker, this is Steve O. Steve O. We've got an elk down on the ground. I'm gonna need a truck for transport. Breaker, breaker, this is Steve. We've got an elk on the ground. Need a truck for transport. Yeah, baby. This is my first elk ever. Dead ringer, broadhead, expedition bow, it ate. It ate and it did its job. I, it, he may not be as big to some people, but he is, he's, he's massive to me. Oh my God. After four yes. trips? Yes. I didn't even get to see one and you get this thing. <laughs> You know, I'm not always the first one to kill. Actually, there's a lot of times I don't even kill. But when I do, here we celebrate. Well, that seems far. Well, well, to what do we have here? I'm killed out, first afternoon hunt, I'm on the board. We were moseying around the ranch here, and uh, we found a hot tub, and it is not bad. Go ahead, little bro, have a good time, enjoy it. Some of us are gonna be hiking up and down mountains, while some of us sit in a hot tub. Elk on the ground, rear end in the hot tub. We were 
on them. We just yeah. lacked about 300 yards. They, I mean, we kept closing in and closing in and closing in. They kept bugling and they're hot. While we're hot on the pursuit of elk, bam, there was a bear we spotted it. And so one of the workers called and said that they saw a bear cross the road right around here. And they went up in the scrub oak, going up into the top of this mountain. So we're gonna go and ease through here and see if we can maybe get on. That broad hit smoked him here. That was a hell of a shot. Right there. He went 10 yards. This hunt is far from over. We still have tons of ground to cover. Stay tuned. On the road, we'll be right back. Hold on. I, I, what are y'all doing here? After a very peaceful day of activities, I decided to take a short four hour nap. Brock gets back from his hunt, wakes me up, and he decides to show me this massive animal that he killed. Wow, that beautiful face there. Looks like he changed his mind and went for a bear. Inside the paw, thing would slice you open. <laughs> That's cool, dude. That ain't the end of my hunt. We just kind of digressed a little bit. I still got a big old bull on my mind. My bro Rock put an amazing shot on an absolutely amazing Quinlan Ranch bull. Congrats, bro. Proud of you. Never gets old, dude. By far the biggest bull I've ever shot. Golly, I think this is my biggest bull kill to date. And I did it with the expedition bow. Man, I'm so excited. Dude, I mean, look at this bull. Beautiful. Freaking the mass. Dude, I you knew y'all had good bulls out here. Put your hand around here on the bottom. That's how big That's a freaking Beautiful. stud. I mean, oh, yeah. look, my hand, my hand don't even go out just over halfway around. You can go for decades and not get a bull like this. Thank you for coming. Executive chef Austin Mirfield doesn't cut corners. He cooks as if he's cooking for royalty. You talking straight up gourmet cooking here, better than any restaurant that you can get to. Put it on, watch it go around the whole thing. That's 35 ounce steak.
after uh, killing two animals in two days and having a nice day off, we eating like kings over here tonight. The grind is more than just making a turkey call or decoy. The grind is our passion, our life, years of learning to hunt. Making mistakes and applying hunting knowledge takes us to the lowest of lows and the highest of highs when getting that gobbler. And our 2020 lineup is no different. The Hunting Fellowship drives the grind team to make the best products we can. We assure you our products are built with quality and most of all, with passion. Let us be part of your tradition and create a legacy that will last a lifetime. We are the grind. My boy Craig wasn't able to make it with us to the Quinlan Ranch, but he was able to make an elk hunt at the W Bar Ranch. We're in New Mexico at the, uh, the infamous UU Bar. I just got in. I had a show last night in Wisconsin. Good weather. Yes, nice weather. Got a little bit of rain, and it's gonna make it great. I got two almonds left, so we don't have long. There you go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Hearing a bull bugle like that in a while, man, it gives me chills. First hundred years, we've been thunderstormed on, we've been hailed on, we've been rained on, and it's hailing while the sun's shining, and we're still here in Elk Beaver. They just got so many cows. Makes it tough when you're boy hunting. <laughs> Holy mice. But we've seen at least three shooter bulls. Yeah. That's They're still good. talking. It's awesome. And it was in a hailstorm. We almost died there. It's so bad. If it hadn't been for our survival skills, we would have perished for sure. Well, I think we'll let them soak. Yeah. See what we get done tomorrow. It's going to get be get, losing light here pretty quick. So yeah. We'll just head along. Let them let them do their thing. You bet. Look at what we saw. It kind of makes a person think. Where do we go first thing in the morning? Yeah. Where do we start? No kidding. It's nice to know that you had the ability, the skill set to uh, take care of yourself no matter what. Provide food for yourself and your family, your friends. It's peaceful beyond anything you can explain. It's biblical. We're supposed to do this. This is what we're supposed to do. This is the way God made us. He made us to take care of ourselves. And when we're doing this, we have time to contemplate and to think and to meditate. We get so busy, we get away from all that. <laughs> Makes you wonder, huh? Do we really need to be that busy? Is the stuff that important? But we don't stop. <laughs> Just keep on. I love knowing that when I take an elk, I'm going to be eating meat that has nothing added to it. It's grass-fed.
Craig got it done on a big old bull elk in New Mexico. I saw it, I saw it here. Oh, I know. It, yeah. it went right. It was just back. Yeah. It was like right here. Yeah. We are uh, we're back this morning where we left this bull last night. It's smarter to wait uh, and let them expire naturally and that way you don't push him around so we're hoping he didn't go far we're gonna go look for him now oh my he's gosh a, he's brute. he is a brute look at that i want to take a second to thank matt and austin at the quinlan ranch let me tell you these guys are top notch they put you on the elk serve you great food and let me tell you the scenery there it's in the mountains beautiful some of the most pristine land you're ever going to get to you need to go out and check it out. Enjoy the great outdoors, and there's nothing like the screaming bugle of an elk. Make sure you go and experience it for yourself.